presentations. Awesome. So. Dude, she did it all in one shot. Yeah, it was one take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez. Uh, hey, we're building a compost uh, site over here, right over there, where those pallets are. Doesn't look like much right now, but eventually we're going to put all our garbage in there. <laughs> So you may be wondering why we got a big pile of pallets everywhere. And uh, the reason is because uh, we just do. We're actually going to use these pallets to create a more practical and accessible compost pile. Elevating it from the ground so that it can aerate and resist flood. And creating walls so that it can be more neat and contained in one area. Okay, sometimes when you break down a pallet, it is not super even everywhere. So we've been getting a little creative here and trying to make a level floor. So we had to pile them to make it all even uh, for our wall. Is this a floor or a wall? Are we still, we're still a level surface for our compost bin. <laughs> <laughs> compost Montreal is with us today and uh, we're setting up a compost bin so they can show us what we're supposed to do with that stuff because it's very, very confusing. Step number one, setting up pallets on the floor. Uh, we want air to come in, but at the same time we don't want the compost to fall through. So step number two is setting up the geotextile on it right here. So right now me and Marty are sitting on a platform that we just made because Compost Montreal is going to come visit us and uh, teach us about compost. Because we don't know much about it, Marty. What is compost? I don't know. We should ask Compost Montreal. So my name is Kendra. Um, I'm here with Travis from Compost Montreal. And today we're giving a workshop at Valhalla all about the how-tos of composting. Um, so the first thing that we were talking about is why might you want to compost? Why do we bother? Uh, so essentially when we put food waste and other organic materials into a landfill they're decomposing under a whole bunch of other garbage so there's no oxygen getting in there so that's called anaerobic decomposition and that's bad because it releases a lot of methane which is a really powerful greenhouse gas um, and there's also toxic liquids that can come out of there um, and mix with all those other chemicals and nasty things that are in the landfill and then that can sometimes pollute um, the surrounding areas so there's a whole bunch of bad reasons that you don't want to put that food waste into the landfill but when we compost it um, it's breaking down with oxygen so that's aerobic decomposition and that's amazing because it doesn't release as much methane um, a lot less greenhouse gases are coming out of there so from a climate change perspective that's a great system um, as well after only a couple of months we end up with compost finished compost uh, which is an amazing soil amendment so it helps us build really healthy gardens uh, really healthy land it helps our soils um, be as beneficial as they possibly can uh, so today we were building um, a great compost bin here at Valhalla. So in our compost bin we want to have um, food waste which is very full of nitrogen. Good. Hoorah! 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 Wow. Yeah, it wow. felt great. So we want to have about a quarter food waste to three quarters of brown waste. So that's our carbon. So we want one nitrogen to three carbon. So the brown waste is things like wood chips and we use some leaves um, we could have also used straw, um, so what we did today was, as a community, we had a potluck lunch and then we built this really great composter, um, and uh, in about a year's time, we should have some amazing compost coming out of there that Valhalla can use uh, for all of their amazing permaculture projects. So compost is really stupendous, and Compost Montreal has been doing a great thing for the island of Montreal. Unfortunately though, they'll be losing their site and they can use your help. So they're currently running a crowdsourcing campaign and the link is in the description. Make sure to help them out because we want more compost in Montreal. We can't get enough of it. I eat compost. <laughs> oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Travis! <laughs> hey man, if that doesn't qualify for a professional compost expert, I don't know what does. <laughs> so that's all it takes. Just a little bit of carbon and a little bit of nitrogen. <laughs>